What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jason here, and in today's video, I wanted to go over making a, a network call for an image using async await. So basically, what we what we want to do is, so we want to get a we have a URL for an image, right? And I'm actually ha I'm using this URL here, which gives us a random image from Unsplash, which is pretty cool. Like you see, it, it it changes once we go to it, but if you it's a nice setup actually. But if you control, if you command me, this uh, the link will be in the description. You see, you get a whole bunch of random pictures. And what we'll be doing is, we just want to make a network request to grab uh, to grab the image. So we'll call this fetch image. Fetch image. All right, and let's get it started with it. And I'm gonna make a file. Well, I'll make a class here in the same call it API service. I'll make it a. I'll put in a separate file at the end of the video. Um. All right, no singleton this time. And uh, let's call it fetch. Image. Oh, it's a funk. Fetch image. I remember that. All right. And in this function, we're going to be using async await. So we need async throws. And let's return a UI. Actually, huh. let's return a UI image. Now and all right. So what do we need to do? We need to guard let the bay. Uh, the we need to get the URL first. So we need to create a URL from the base URL. Else, you want to th throw. And now we need to make a an enum. For error, we'll call this invalid URL. Valid URL. All right. Now we can just fetch the data. Like we can just uh, make a response. So data response. Try await URL session shared data from URL. Now we have our data and for an image, it's fairly straightforward. We just have to use, so we're going to use the data to create the image because this network request here is going to return us some data. And all you have to do is like call UI image. Ah, we were just looking at and this data here and you pass that data into that and you're golden. And that's, oh, well, let's do a guard let. Actually, this is optional, so we'll say network area unable to, oh. <laughs> Convert. All right, and what's what else? What else? What else? What else? I think we're good for now. Let's try to implement this. So, the image view. I'm gonna try this really fast. UI image view. Let's use an anonymous closure. Just to switch it up. All right, and then image view, translate, auto resizing of false, um, clips to bound equals true. Let's do a corner radius to make it look nice. What else we wanna do? Content mode, scale to fill. 
return image view. I think that's it. I think that's, I think that's all we need. Yeah. Oh, I guess let me put a default image. UI image system name. So in here, let's make this bigger. My bad, y'all. Yeah. All right, in here, let's do like a question mark. Ah, I need the quotation marks. All right, and then not shuffle, but no new image button. It's a UI button. Uh, all right, this button is basically we're just going to use it to um, to pull up a new image, a new real yeah, new image to fetch a new image. All right, return button. What else we set title? We'll call this shuffle normal button. Oh, background color. Let's do, let's do mint. I think I like mint. All right, now our old good old configure UI function. Function configure UI. And here we're actually gonna find out if our, um, actually not even yet. <laughs> Cause first we have to add the image view. View dot add button. See what happens when we run this. While it's loading, let's stamp out this um this function that we're gonna use to um fetch image. It's async. All right. Oh, network. Yeah, that looks fine. Good with me. We'll probably change the corner radius here. <laughs> Once uh, this is API service, fetch image. Uh, we gotta. We need to do catch. And I believe it's returning us an image. So then we need to call here. We're going to update the image. So we need to do this on the main thread. We need to call the main actor, main actor dot await oh main actor dot run. That gives you the access to the main thread and we'll do image view dot image equal image. And I think that's it. I think we need to call this function. <laughs> can't can't forget that. That that always uh, messes up. Uh, we need to do this in a task as well. Fetch, await, fetch image. All right. I think that should be good. Oh, let's see. Oh, I didn't I didn't set the action up. You guys saw we um, it's pretty good. 
I don't like. Well, it's alright. I feel like it's too low, right? But it's it's alright. <laughs> uh, now let's end, let's add the action button. Can I add the target here? Let's see. All right, there's add target. See at OBJC funk. Bit head shuffle, and then we're just gonna call a task. We're gonna call fetch image. Oh, we gotta call wait. All right. Ah. See, and that's how you work with uh, images and uh, using async await. <laughs> that's how you work with images. But yeah, that's how you, you get them from your network or from the URL. I just want to make a quick video on that in case uh, you guys were struggling with it. It's fairly straightforward. As you see here in our API service, which I'm going to remove or add into a new file. Call this API service. Oh, I didn't call But yeah, like I said, it was it's fairly straightforward to to do this. I think we need to import UI kit. So yeah, let me know in the comments section uh, if you have any questions or any any issues with uh, getting set up. You guys have a good day. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace. I'm right in between it all in this perfect place. Peace to the buzz when I fit where you need me, baby.